Toronto Real Estate Board has released its figures for the month of March. But before we get into those, wishing everyone a very, very happy Easter. Does this guy look like me? I think he does. Hi everyone, this is Ayub Mehta from Royal LePage. Uh, before we get into the stats and the numbers as to what happened in the market, let's do a quick draw of uh, my last week's uh, anniversary video which where I promised a winner uh, $50 Amazon e-card and also $50 from me to the charity of their choice. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I asked each one of my family members to help me pick a winner, but looks like they are all camera shy. I don't blame them. I mean, when I started doing my videos, I had to sit thinking for a week before releasing my first one. So I guess I'll have to do the honor. So I have the name of the all the nominees here, all those who have either uh, liked my videos or shared or commented. So I'm going to pick one uh, name from here in the in the bowl and let's see uh, who it is. So I got this one and let's see the name. Okay, so the winner is Mr. Wasim Rafiq. Mr. Wasim Rafiq. Congratulations, Mr. Wasim. I will reach out to you directly to get your uh, contact information and then uh, I will make sure that you get your reward of $50 of uh, Amazon uh, e-card. So here, let's look at the figures of the month of March uh, as to what happened around the GTA. And here's the chart that I always bring in every month to show which city has topped the list in terms of price appreciation and which city has uh, done the least. So here you can see Milton has topped the list this year or this month in the month of March uh, at 17.1% uh, year over year price gain followed by Mississauga at 16.4%. Uh, what I have seen is interestingly is that Mississauga has been consistently showing a price gain of more than 10% all along. So I have I don't remember seeing any price gain any month of less than 10%. I may be wrong but as far as I remember I have not. And uh, in the month of March 2020 as you can see Pickering came out to be the lowest at 1.7% price gain. And all over GTA, the general uh, price increase was 14.5%, as you can see here. Now we come to the stats of Mississauga in particular. As you can see, the prices have gone up uh, in March 2020 compared to March 2019 by 16.4% which we saw in the chart earlier and let's dig down deeper and see the sales the sales have gone up from 713 to 756 or by 6% but the active listings have gone down which we all know that the listings or the the, the listings are uh, lower this year and there are not too many properties in the market so the listings have gone down uh, from 1214 last year to only 897 this year which is like minus 26 percent uh, compared to last year and the average days on the market has as a result of lower number of listings has gone down from 17 to 11 days that's like five percent less Let's look at the figures of the last week now. In freeholds, the new listings came in lower at only 60 and the solds were much, much lower at only 13 uh, and the sold conditionals at 1414. In condos, the new listings came in a little higher from the previous week at 74 and the solds were again at 13 and uh, sold conditionals at 16. And the total inventory as of end of last week went higher because of the lower sales to 979. That's it for the market update today.
I would love you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to ring that bell and also share this video with your family and friends and also with those who are looking to either buy or sell sometimes this year and would like to know um, the strategy and what to do and what not to do in this current situation so and uh, if you want to compare the figures with the last month's figure take a look at this video